Hey everybody, Marcus Viegas here in Las Vegas being joined with Larry Merchant. And Larry, this is a pleasant surprise. It's been a while since uh, we've gotten a chance to see you. How have you been since HBO has gone out of the game of boxing and we've seen the rise of uh, DAZN and these other networks incorporating well, boxing I, programming? I left uh, HBO a um, few years before they decided to uh, close the shop on boxing. Uh, and in fact, it created a void that doesn't exist because everybody has rushed in to fill the void, including the zone. And now we have um, two platforms on ESPN and and uh, Fox and Showtime. And there have been some terrific fights lately, and there are some big fights coming up. And uh, I'm a fight fan. <laughs> What do you make of the product at this point with HBO's exit? Well, you know, look, HBO carved out a niche. And it showed the networks, which are starting to lose interest in boxing, ABC, NBC, CBS, that for the right fights, there's still a big audience. And we presented them in in a dramatic way and tell a storytelling way and um, it proved out over time that uh, if you put on good fights and personalities developed and champions uh, hung around a while and you had people like Sugar Ray Leonard although there's nobody quite like Sugar Ray Leonard um, there's an audience, and um, when pay-per-view came around, uh, there could be events that would be bonanzas beyond anybody's imagining. Everybody else in entertainment was trying to do what boxing does. So here it is. Um, uh, I, I liken it to Hamilton on Broadway. How Broadway has always been pronounced dead. And just as boxing has been over a long period of time, excuse me, and then a Hamilton comes along. Well, it's like an Ali, okay, who regenerates the game. And uh, here we are. Certainly yourself, Jim Lampley, Max, Roy, were kind of like the cornerstone of a boxing commentary team. It's something that we grew up with and grew accustomed with. What do you make of the, the current teams that are in place right now? And if uh, you could give a, a comment on what you like about them or, or what you're seeing from them or want to see more from them. Um, I think the, that the ringside teams are uh, good. Uh, I think sometimes with a big fight there are too many People, eight people commenting on two guys fighting. <laughs> it's a little much for me. Um, but I think that they've picked up some of the good stuff we tried to do. And um, I think in general, uh, they do a good job. Uh, um, and you just have to remember that the fight is the thing. The fighters are the what people want to see and uh, recently there have been some terrific fights and there are more coming up. We'll touch on those recent fights uh, but I, I want to get your take on uh, the zone and, and the streaming thing like what's your, your take on it because for such a long time I think we haven't seen boxing on network television and, and I felt in order to capture the casual sports fan it has to be on network television all the other major sports are on network television boxing for the longest time wasn't streaming platform comes in, they're trying to do a, a different thing. What's your take on it? And do you feel it can be successful or, or do you like, do you think it, it's good for boxing? I think it's good for boxing in this moment. Uh, if I have to pay a hundred bucks a year to watch what the zone is doing, sign me up. Um, um, times change. Once upon a time, there was no pay-per-view. Um, I went to the first theater television event ever, a Sugar Ray Robinson fight, a uh, thousand years ago. 
<laughs> so the money has changed. Um, if you get a big matchup, it generates uh, the kind of revenue that was uh, uh, unthinkable way back in the day, which is good for the fighters. Um, so I take what we got, and what we have is, I would say there's more of an international flavor in boxing than there used to be. That's what the zone is doing, I think, in, in part, bringing it together. Um, we're seeing more Asian and East and European fighters and um, Mexican fighters and so on. Um, and like I watched the fight, was it last week? Uh, Progress and uh, Taylor. Taylor. Mm -hmm. What a fight! Yeah, Terrific right. fight. Yeah. So, um, hey, uh, as long as we're getting to see the best fighters, uh, fight fighters who can seriously challenge them uh, and compete with them, and it's not just all uh, mismatches and pushovers and money fights, um, hey, sign me up. Have you gotten any indication that HBO might change their tune and get back in the game at all, or is there any interest there? I think, is it possible? Yes, anything is possible. I mean, they did, they're smart guys, they did their research, they, they, they kind of think in the future, where is the game, where is their game going? And uh, they decided that uh, Netflix was their opponent, not the networks. And Netflix is killing it. No boxing. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> All movies. <laughs> so, so it goes. Have you been approached at all? Like, could we see you on, on like a DAZN or a Fox or anything like that? Would you like to do that? No, I'm, 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 I'm retired. I don't think of it that way. Um, um, a handful of boxing events a year. I'll have some people over to watch with television and uh, we serve them some food and that's where I do my commentary. <laughs> <laughs> good commentary. People would pay to hear that. <laughs> do you miss attending all the fights? No, I don't miss. I see the I see the the big fights, the important fights, one way or another. Um, sometimes I go to a movie, and when I come home, I still have the fight <laughs> uh, recorded. So uh, you couldn't do that in the past either, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, everything is good. <laughs>